Hello, I'm going to do a day in the life of, this is a different one, it's The Infidels by Agonist. Now I'm pretty sure this is all natural ingredients, so obviously they get, um, all natural perfumes do get a reputation for being not that long lasting. I've had this now for a couple of years, um, as you can see the level there's not a great deal left. I have sold a couple of decants from it. This is a 50ml bottle. Um, one of my very first uh, expensive niche perfume purchases. I actually paid full price for it in a perfumery called Tops Perfumery in Zagreb in Croatia. And um, it was a very enjoyable purchase. Very nice little shop there. If you're in Croatia, um, near Zagreb, definitely check it out. Awesome, awesome place. Um, so I'm going to spray it now for you. Uh, I think we go quite heavy. Oh, that wasn't the spray. That's one. That's two. Nice big spray there. One on my chesty area. So that's three. And then I'm just going to do it. My sleeves are too long to do much more than the wrist, one spray each wrist I think, so three, four, five, that's going to be five, there, they are quite generous uh, sprays, so I'm going to give you my quick um, rundown of how this smells, straight away I get a headshot kind of vibe, like a really sweet incense um kind of smell but also citruses it's really quite a fresh fragrance despite the incense you've got incense and citruses it's quite sweet i think that comes from there's uh, a few different florals in there yep so you've got um a may rose turkish rose jasmine a couple of jasmines magnolia which i don't normally enjoy but i can't really pick that out thank god iris ylang ylang so all those floral notes to be quite honest with you, I can't specifically pick out any of those and say, oh, I can smell jasmine or I can smell rose. If I really look for it, I think I can smell the rose, but, you know. Anyway, it's just um, to give you an idea, there's also vetiver, there's vanilla, there's amber, there's um, uh, a couple of woods. <laughs> woods! Love a bit of wood. Um, it's just very sweet, very incense very fresh, very citrusy, and that's kind of all you need to know for now. So we're going to see how it goes throughout the day, we're going to test the longevity and the projection and um, if I make any more insights on the way it smells and the way it makes me feel then I will share them with you. If I get any compliments, comments or hate for it I will also share that with you. Bye! Hi, yeah, so I'm back. I'm in the car park and it's now um, about five and a half hours since I sprayed it. So time check, it's two, <laughs> let's check my phone, 2.41. And I got two colleagues to tell me what they thought of, um, of the projection, whether they could smell me. And I had to stand quite close and they couldn't really smell me even from like that far away. But as I moved around, they did get a smell. So I would say that projection is not that strong, but there is definitely sillage there. Um, from my wrist, I can smell it. About that distance, so we're only talking like that much projection on the wrist. A bit more, again, you always get more from here because it's warmer and it seems to radiate out. Um, projection is probably only like that. I can smell it on myself, but um, I don't think anyone sitting near me is really going to smell it apart from as I move around. So um, at this point in my usual life, I would respray, but because I'm testing the longevity of it and I want to let you know a true, um, true idea of how long it lasts I'm not respraying so um, oh I was going to talk to you about how it smells a little bit um, my colleague said that she could definitely smell vanilla although she knows I'm a vanilla whore so she <laughs> she knows that pretty much everything I wear has vanilla in it anyway but um, I 
start to detect more vanilla about an hour to an hour and a half in. Um, vanilla starts to come through, the fragrance becomes less uh, vibrant and fresh and slightly takes on like a, a darker, more mysterious edge. Um, it kind of reminds me, quite in fact quite a lot reminds me of Rienne from uh, Etat Libre Tourange, except it's not the beast that Rienne is. Um, it does bear a lot of similarities. I was also thinking that I've kind of got that old book smell going on in there, which is um, really nice. Someone's walking past now and I'm, that's okay. We're all good, we're all good. One day I reckon they're gonna get security onto me and they think I'm up to some kind of bizarre thing in here. Um, I'm at work in the car park and they're, they're quite um, security conscious here. So cameras, you know, these day and age <laughs> cameras. Um, so yeah, it definitely reminds me of Rienne, but it's much more wearable and it's a much lighter version. Um, obviously not identical to Rienne, but if you like Rienne, you'll like this. If you've got Rienne, I personally don't think you need infi the infidels, I don't. Um, if I was to run out of this, which is going to happen one day, I think I would just get a bottle of Rienne because it's cheaper. So that's my thoughts. Anyway, I will come back to you at the end of the day and uh, give you a further update. So ta-ta for now, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Hiya. So it's just gone, well, it's about 20 past 6 p.m. So I've been wearing a fragrance for, well, yeah, um, over 12 hours. So I wouldn't really expect it to still be lasting. And... Um, it's pretty much completely gone. There's just the faintest, faintest hint of it left on the wrist. And from around my neck, again, only very, very faint. Um, but as I say, it is 12 hours. It's been a really muggy day. Even though it's raining, it's been really warm and muggy and close. So I don't think perf uh, perfumes necessarily perform that well anyway. Um, so I think for an all natural perfume that the performance is good really um look at that so cool in the it's like that in the bottom of the glass um yeah it's good performance for all natural for the price tag probably not because i think these are like 120 odd quid for 50 mil so it's quite a lot of money i think the price might have come down a little bit lately i'm not too sure um I mean, if you are interested, obviously just check it out. They are usually stocked in. I think Harrods and Selfridges have them. Plus there's a couple of online retailers. I think some of the European ones. It's um, Agonist is a Swedish company. Um, so overall, I, I really, I, this is one of my first niche purchases, as I said before. So it, it does mean something to me. I really love how it smells. I would probably just have to respray halfway through the day for me to be happy with the um, performance and the projection. I don't think I would spend that kind of money again on that. Um, that's just my my humble opinion, but um, I do love it and I will enjoy it till the end. So that's all I'm saying on the matter. Good night.